Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip. Today, we are going to be talking about the Solana ecosystem and a very big question about Solana and Solana-based tokens. The question I want to pose today is, is the Solana market about to cool off? Is it overbought right now? Is it overbought and overpumped up? Because there has been a lot of money flowing into this. If you saw our video earlier today, Black Sea, my partner on the channel, made a great amount of money on the Bonk meme token, took some profits, and people are wondering, is it time to take profits? Is it time to shuffle things off the table? Well, let me tell you guys, it's always fantastic to take profits, okay? But if you're wondering if we can continue up, let's explore that conversation because the media says maybe we're overbought. But then we got to look at the charts and see if they're telling us that same thing. So let's take a peek at it, guys. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, guys, if you like this kind of video. And let's talk right now about what's going on. Bitcoin currently at $42,200. And the Bonk token is still one of the top noted tokens on CoinMarketCap. But as you can see, it is down. It is retracing. Now, let me just say this is something that we did predict here on the channel because when a major exchange listing occurs, for a token, especially a meme token, like it did on Coinbase and Crypto.com over the last week, really just a couple days ago, we expected to see a sell-off. When there's a major exchange listing for a token that's hot, when an exchange listing occurs, typically there is a sell-off. Now, can this thing rebound? Well, let's explore that a little bit. First off, we got to look at Bitcoin, which is currently at $42,200, holding on pretty strongly to the $40,000 level. This thing was up to $44,000 the other day. Ethereum also showing a very, very strong breakout recently. And this is coming on the back of really a bull market that was kind of led by Solana and Bitcoin. Solana-based altcoin rally, it's rallied over, rallied over 1,200% prime to crash within four to six weeks, says some top analysts. But is this really true? In order to kind of understand if this is a likely scenario or not, you really got to look at a couple things. First off, guys, look at the chart for Solana versus Bitcoin. As you can see, it has been going up tremendously as of late. From the bottom of this market, Solana has rallied versus Bitcoin so far about 300%, which is very spectacular gains compared to other altcoins and their performance against Bitcoin. And as you can see here, we're kind of getting a W formation, which honestly does look pretty bullish, but arguably, you know, there are some key levels here that we might want to consolidate in for a bit. So maybe, just maybe Solana could slow down versus Bitcoin. But on a more bullish note, you know, guys, this thing has been proving to be the next most exciting thing to Ethereum when it comes to layer two solutions or layer one solutions right now. Other uh, ecosystems have been bumping as of late, but arguably the reason that Solana has been so bullish as of lately is this bonk token. As you can see, guys, from really the bottom of this market, uh, if you bought it at the absolute bottom for bonk and you kind of wrote it up so far to the highest wick, We've had about a 20,000% gains for people that were buying the bottom, you know, and so easy opportunity to get a 20, 50, 100, maybe even a 200X if you bought it completely at the bottom. My partner on the channel, Black Sea, did a great job. And this is really something that came after Solana was rallying and then the Bonk token really started rallying and, and it kind of became like a leveraged position uh, for the Solana ecosystem. Now, the overall market cap is still going up. And so despite Bonk selling off a little bit today because of the exchange list, Listings. Does this, you know, does this make you think that the Solana coin could come down as well? Well, when you look at uh, Solana versus BTC, a cool off period of just to the right wouldn't be very surprising. But a dip downward again, honestly, would be pretty surprising for me at this point, because what we've seen is a lot of excitement in this space around Solana, even so much so that Solana in total value locked up in the DeFi space has rallied massively. 48% over the last month is up above a billion dollars. One point in time, not so long ago, maybe even two months ago, Solana was even lower than Kronos and it really, it flips Kronos and then kept going past everything else. Optimism, Polygon, Avalanche. Lately, you've seen an inflow of money into Cardano and the Avalanche ecosystem as well. Some people believe that a Polygon bump is due soon. Optimism's been doing well. Kronos has been pretty strong, still looking for volume to come into that. But Solana is showing strength in this total value locked up ecosystem. And so when you see an article, guys, that says, hey, maybe Solana needs to cool off. You know, I don't really like to look at those things. I like to look at my own stories, kind of tell what the story is, look at what the excitement is in the space. And I'll tell you guys this, I am bullish on Solana. Could there be a pullback? Certainly. But is there a lot more upside for Solana? Absolutely, in my opinion. 
100%. Is there more upside for the Bonk token? We might have an extended cool off period for Bonk or we could see a rally back up. We definitely needed a cool off after the Coinbase listing. We have gotten that. And so if you're looking for an opportunity to enter into Solana, which is kind of consolidating right now, or even into the Bonk token, which is way down from its highs, these are times where I start looking in to getting into this ecosystem. Full disclosure, guys, I am not a part of the Solana ecosystem at this point. I do intend on picking up some bags. These would be a great time to do it. When I get some new money coming in, I'll be looking out for opportunities to buy the dip on this and within some of these other ecosystems. My video later today will be on the Kronos chain. I have some interesting thoughts for you guys on that if you want to check them out. That's all I got for you in this one, though, guys. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks, you got to remember to DCA, HODL. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I have two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.